All right, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman back with a banger of a game. We've got Hermeos playing a split between uh, Kathir Forest and Sundered Lands. Not a split you usually see often. I wonder what he's. I uh, wonder what he's got for us today. Then we've got Elves Rule over here playing full faction Sundered Lands. So uh, I'm just gonna sit back and not do much commentating at all because both of the. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. But both of these players are uh, are better than me. So trying to anticipate their plays is not going to be easy. I will give it my uh, my 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 darndest though. So we've got spell sword. I mean, maybe maybe this will be a short game. Who knows? We've got uh, Draxar spell sword here. Nice cheap champion here for elves, facing off uh, against the angel who actually decides to capture the side font first. Definitely a good play. And oh my God, Hermeos, are you serious? Uh, you're playing aspect of violence, super champ. Boo! Now, come on, you, you're better than this. All right, well we'll see what this uh, we'll see what this Kentucky Fried Chicken Wing has to say about that. So Chicken Wing, extra crispy, getting in that font uh, versus the Aspect, and yeah, Aspect of Violence Super Champ is uh, it's not really a deck that I'd recommend if you uh, if you value your your personal skill. I guess it can be fun, like to you know throw everything onto one big bungus and just rip through a bunch of shit, but I have a feeling Elves is not going to be very happy playing against this. Sundered Lands is not the worst faction to go up against this. I mean, they've got Purge for Dispel, and, uh, you know, they've got they've got power turns, they've got options, right? Like, it's not like they're, you know, completely fucked by a super champ, but uh, still, it's not going to be, it's not going to be an easy match, I would say, for Elves. Because when you've got when you've got like just you know some low-rated scrub playing this deck, it's completely different from when a, like a good player like Hermeos decides to run it. Reminds me of uh, the old uh, Spike Soul Bond combo deck back in the day when uh, DMR bad guy would run that shit and ranked, and even even players like Riv and uh, and um, the Red would struggle against it just because the combo was so degenerate and it, it like. DMR was a great player, so he knew how to you know how to take advantage of that stuff. But thankfully, that's no longer in the game. We've got instead we've got some big Durgans here for uh, for Elves Rule. It's got we've got Vin Daddy and uh, Val Val Valed Mommy, I guess. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a way to say Valdak plus Mommy, and it's not working. So uh, Chicken Wing does uh, the Poison Cone here onto Aspect. He just wants to get that thing down as fast as possible. And, uh, I mean, he's done a good job. He's done a Poison Sting, he's done the Cone, and Aspect is already down to 39. So, Hermeos, I guess Hermeos now has to just, he needs to get in there, because otherwise it's just going to be sniped with bombs and shit. Elves doing the right thing, you know, putting up the, uh, I guess, I'm guessing he, I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd put up the Divert so soon. The problem here is, like, Angel can make a double tap and easily, like, eat through it. An aspect can go in. It can only make one attack on the chicken wing right now, but you never know with spells. Thank God, time slip is banned, right? That that spell really needs a rework. I think, I think uh, that, and uh, there's some others uh, that I feel like could really use some time out of the shoebox. But time slip in particular was especially annoying with this deck because an aspect of violence with 20 AP is uh, nothing to t uh, nothing to shake a stick at. It basically let you get your entire super champ train rolling with just one 30 Nora spell. Because after after making all those attacks, I mean, you got, like, what else have you got, right? So, Aspect of Life with, uh, actually has Boost. Boost uh, Demigod, I guess, for the Aspect. Man, Hermia was really going all in on this degenerate crap. So Aspect can be around to heal up uh, the other, well, Aspect of Life can heal up the Aspect of Violence. Probably, uh, probably not within her nature to do so. But, you know, Aspects uh, gotta stick together, right? So, Draxar Bookburner. I'm guessing he's just running this for utility. I mean, he's, he's a great utility piece now. Shatter Summoned, Set Ablaze for keeping things uh, in place. And then Bookburn for anti... A I guess anti-Super Champ spells. Meanwhile, Angel gonna sit in the font after intensifying. And honestly, like, even in a split, like, I, I kind of rag on Kathir Forest's uh, split bonus a lot. But even in a split, like Angel, Angel isn't too bad now. Uh, now that it doesn't have five speed in the split, it's got seven in uh, after intensifying in a split. So she's she can be ran de decently well in there. 
But uh, I'm feeling like Elves Rule is working out a way to kill it here. And now the problem is if he does go in and kill it, then he's got Aspect to face. And Aspect is a much greater threat than, uh, than the Angel right now. And probably always will be. Well, I would maybe think about now that, like, yes, so the Spell Sword has Magic Ear. So maybe I'd swap out uh, the Chicken Wing if he wanted to play defensive. But instead, he's going to play uh, fairly aggressively, going in, with the, going in with the Dragonic Benediction to kill this Angel here. And I'm thinking Vindrax will not uh, will not go to go to melee. He'll just do an Acid Bomb. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, Valdak is in range. Okay. So I was thinking maybe he'd save AP on Valdak for a Healing Breath. To, uh, to cleanse the charm, but he's not going to need to do that. Valdak uh, going to give everyone some coordinated fire here. Take down that angel, and Vindrax actually going into melee. It's not quite enough to finish the angel, unfortunately. Uh, he's going to need more... Uh, the problem is he's spell-locked. I'm guessing he didn't really calculate that. He just sort of went off his instincts and uh, decided that that was enough. But, I mean, now, after that failed one-rounding... Oh, oh, please, elves don't surrender yet. I know Aspect is going to ruin your tight little butt, but <laughs> I, I want this game to go on a little bit longer, at least. With, the, with two good players like this, I mean, you'd expect, uh, you'd expect a, a good back-and-forth game, but... Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not... Uh, sometimes our brains fail us, even at the best of times. So, Aspect of Violence here, he has his pick of the litter. He's probably going to wreck this Spell Sword because of Vindrax's uh, Resist Physical 3. Not easy, though, uh, even for someone of Hermeos' caliber. I mean, Aspect can get off two hits onto that Spell Sword. Uh, Angel can't hit nothing. Like, she, she, she's just got to run uh, back to the Aspect of Life for a nice little Lay Hands heal. And then uh, Book Burner, I'm guessing Book Burner can maybe, uh, well, it's tough with the set of blades because Valdak can just cleanse it. So you can't really rely on that for, uh, for CC. And uh, we're going to see the Lay Hands here. And I'd, 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 I'd definitely love to lay hands on that angel, if you know what I mean. Mm -mm -mm. So Aspect is going to sit in that font versus the Spell Sword. He should make two hits, right? I mean, he, he, needs, to, uh, he needs to get some Life Siphon going. And uh, Hermeo is, is, is here. Uh, okay, so he's actually going to uh, set a blaze. And you know what? I mean, consumed by fire is the debuff, right? So it should... Healing Breath should cleanse that? And then get rid of Pacified? I'm betting, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure... It might actually not, because Hermeo is... Maybe Hermeo knows better than I do that uh, set a blaze cannot be cleansed that way. Mm, shield of will pacified. Vindrax is going to take a hit. And Aspect didn't actually... Yeah, he made two hits. Yeah. And then he even had enough AP to back off one. So Gale Singer coming down for some uh, Battle Hymn action for the following turn. And then we might even see a Horn of Order coming down onto that Aspect of Life for maybe a triple hit from that, uh, from that violence. So I'm wondering if... Yeah, he's going to try for the Healing Breath. Does it work? It does indeed work, so Hermeos made a bit of a miscalculation there. And Vindrax, if he wanted, he could just he could just fly right into that top font. And honestly, I think I would I think I would be fine with like I would like I would love to see that play. I mean if Vindrax goes in here, it takes away a lot of uh, Elves Rules counterplay in mid versus the aspect. Because I mean right now, like resist physical three plus a Sundered Lands bonus is really your best option to stall against that. But, I mean, if he has the kill on the Aspect now, the problem is, like, you're splitting versus KF, and uh, you're going against, you know, the split. Like, you can have Ferocity of Cain Terrace up on here. You you could have Escape Magic. If there's ways, like, he could have Protection on there. There's there's ways to keep that Aspect alive. And uh, I'm thinking that Elves Rule is maybe considering a Purge, potentially, to get rid of those uh, those buffing spells. Mm, it's 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 really tricky to play against uh, to play against all the potential hidden spells that Hermeos could have. He actually goes for a mimic here on the aspect of violence, mimicking multi three and life siphon. Great to see people running mimic again. So he tests actually for protection with Valdak, very good, and then goes for the spell sword. And now he's looking to kill. So he actually goes for the mimic. Is mimic actually going to help get a kill here? He can still hit with chicken wing once. Leaving, uh, leaves him at one after a double hit from Vindrax. And Chicken Wing for the kill! Yes! Mm -mm -mm. Chicken Wing is eating good tonight. 
finger licking good. So aspect does go down. That is a dead aspect and a horrific mutation. So Elves of Rules plays the Uno reverse card on Hermeos saying like, oh, you're super champ. Your super champ is nothing. This is what a real super champ is like. That scene from uh, what, what was that? What was that old movie with the Australian guy? It's like that. Like this isn't a knife. This, that's not a knife. This is a knife. And then he pulls out this huge fucking machete. I can't remember the name of that movie. Ah, what, what, what was that movie's name? Someone in the comments will tell me. But uh, anyway, that's that's Elves rule right now. He's got he's got Vindrax with horrific mutation and multi three and life siphon. That's uh, that's hilarious. Mimic is thirty Nora now. Uh, a lot. It's a lot different than it used to be. It used to copy every ability on the on the target, and it actually used to be global on release. And I think it was like fifty Nora too. But it was crazy. Like you'd have fucking uh, crusaders running around copying flesh blight zombies. If anyone remembers uh, Soul Fear from back in the day, she used to run the shit out of uh, that kind of deck with like mimic mimicked crusaders and flesh blight zombies. And uh, it was yeah. I, I I did not play much during that time for obvious reasons. But uh, Angel of Restoration uh, and Bookburner versus that Super Vindrax, and it is not even close. Elves Rule takes the game. Very well played to both, and we'll see everyone in the next one.